Hello and welcome to Zabbix Handy Tips. In this video we will learn how to define storage periods for both individual items and globally. First, let's define a custom history and trend storage period for one of our items. To achieve this, we need to navigate to the configuration host section, find an existing host or create a new one, and click on the items button next to the host. Next we will create a new item by clicking the create item button. As always, let's give our item a name and a key. I will create an item for system uptime by using the system.uptime agent key. Now let's define our custom storage periods for this item. Let's set the history storage period to 30 days. Next, let's set the trend storage period for 180 days and save our item. Next, let's change the global housekeeping settings. To achieve this, we need to navigate to Administration, General, Housekeeping. Let's first change our trigger event storage period by decreasing the trigger data storage period to 60 days. Next, let's override the item history storage period and set it to 60 days. Now we can click the update button to apply the changes. Now let's navigate back to configuration host find our host and click on the items button next to it. I will look up my previously created item and open its configuration. If we hover over the green information icon, we can now see that the custom history storage period has been overridden by the history storage period that we have defined globally. This way, you can define custom storage periods that comply with your organization's policies and provide the least data storage overhead.